Today, we're going to be using our multiplication table in order to really focus in on factors and get comfortable understanding what factors are telling us, how to use them um, in a multiplication problem. So let's go ahead and look at our chart here. The factors are represented in blue in this, in this chart, and the products are, they have no color, so they're just white. Um, let's take a multiplication problem. Let's take the problem three times four is 12. So the two factors, three and four, multiply together to create a product, 12. Let's think about these factors. Let's give this problem some context so we can think about them a little more clearly. What if I had three dice and each of the dice had four dots on it? The total number of dots would be 12. One of the factors told me how many groups I had, three. One of the factors told me how many were in each group, right? Each of these groups has four in it. Uh, so we want to get real comfortable understanding that fact one factor will always tell us how many groups there are, and the other factor will always tell us how many are in a group. And it will be, it'll benefit you to think about it that way in each group. Let's try another problem. What if I had 20, uh, I have five pizzas on each of the four tables, and that's going to equal 20 pizzas altogether. So let's see, I've got five pizzas on each of the four tables. Those are my pizzas, and those are my tables. And if I counted them up, that would equal 20 pizzas. In this one, one of the factors, the first one, is telling me how many are in each group, right? And the other factor told me how many groups I had. So they can switch positions. The cumulative property helps us understand that. But um, they still, one is going to tell us how many groups I have, and the other one's going to tell us how many are in each group. Today, you're going to have an activity where, you're, where you will be creating your own multiplication problem and giving it some context. Dice with dots, pizzas, tables. You get to create it just like I'm creating it on this whiteboard. And that's our Nearpod activity for today. The next thing you're going to be doing is playing a game, a factor game. And in the factor game, you'll be given a variety of products that you get to choose. So maybe I chose eight. Let's just show you how to play the game. Maybe I chose the product um, eight. That means in that turn, I'll be able to get the points represented in the factors that multiply up to the product that I chose, which was eight. So I notice that one times eight equals eight. So those are the two factors. I get one point and eight more points. So I also see that there's another way to two factors that will make eight, two times four two times four, so two groups of four makes eight, one group of eight makes eight. And so in this turn, I would earn this many points. I'd earn a one and an eight and a two and a four, and that would be my points for that round. Now you're gonna be playing against the computer. The computer then will pick that, the product that they want or it wants, and it will get the points for all the factor pairs that will multiply up to make that product. So choose wisely. Try to pick a product that you think will have several factor pairs. If I probably would, if one was one of my products to choose from, but I had another choice, I don't think I'd choose one for my product because there's only one, one times one is the only way to make one, right? Um, so you want to go big, right, when you're choosing. Go ahead and do those two activities today. And be keeping in mind, what is a factor? Or what does a factor tell me? Right? Let's see. Three times five is 15. Factor times a factor equals a product. Factor, factor, product. What? Factor, factor, product. If you say that to yourself another five, six, seven times, factor, factor, product, 
you probably will never forget that the factors are the numbers that you multiply together to equal up to the product. And the factors tell you how many groups you have and how many are in a group. Good luck as you are playing your game today and doing your activity.